Montreal Canadiens now eight straight losses. Claude Julien is searching for answers. He doesn't know. He's blaming the ref for calls. It's it's ugly in Montreal. Does he ha even have the team to have a winning team there? Does he have the players to kind of get out of this? Or is this more of a coaching change that you think they need to do? Well, I definitely don't think they need a coaching change. I mean, I close Julian, I think is one of the best coaches in the National Hockey League, and he's done a, a pretty darn good job everywhere he's been, including his Stanley Cup run in Boston. So I don't think it's a coaching issue. Uh, I think, you know, there's a lack of depth up front, and we said that. That was sort of the question mark surrounding this team when the, when the season began, and I think it's now reared its head. I mean, Drouin got uh, injured, and... Uh, Byron got injured, and suddenly it was like, uh-oh, we don't have a ton of depth up front. And, and it's funny, if you look at the Habs' last game, guys, it'll go down as a 3-1 loss to the Bruins, and people are, oh, Carey Price, you know, he let in three goals in the third. And that's true. But part of the equation is it's one nothing. Brennan Gallagher has a, a clear-cut breakaway and is stopped. And, uh, you know, it's not a lock you're going to score on a breakaway, but you kind of need your scores to bear down sometimes too and provide a little bit of insurance, a little bit of comfort. So, you know, Max Domi got off to a really strong start this year. He's sort of quieted down. Brennan Gallagher has been consistent, but, you know, he's not a 40-goal scorer. He's more like a 28-goal scorer. And, you know, where is this high-end offense? And that's what Mark Bergman, I think, has to ask himself. You know, he went out and tried to get Sebastian Ajo um, unsuccessfully. But when you look at that division, I mean, go up and down that division, guys. You got the Marners, the Matthews, you got the Eichels, you got the Barkovs and, and Huberdos, you've got the Kucherov and Stamkos, you, you got the Pasternak line. I mean, every single competitive team in the Atlantic has superstars up front, you know, top tier guys. The Montreal Canadiens have good forwards, but they don't have great forwards. And that's the question. And then a couple of them get injured, and here we are. Uh, yes, the defensive lapses have played a big role, but I think it's more the personnel, and that's what Mark Bergevin. They've got calorie, salary cap space to give. I, I don't know. I, I imagine Bergevin's working the phones and trying to figure something out, but to me, that's the big question mark. Why aren't they going out and making a big deal and landing some of that offensive prowess that, that must be available around the league? Do you think they can still win with Price in it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's. I mean, yeah. Do you, do you know? I... I, I don't think he's in his prime anymore. Um, I, I don't. I, I think they have to move on from him. I, I, I think he's going to end up in Seattle to to in the when they um, when they start their season. Yeah, and it's I I just I don't think he's the guy that he once was. And that's when the Montreal Canadiens were the Montreal Canadiens when they were when they were a really good team. I mean, um, I just I I don't see them as the same team as they had. And I mean, you got to remember at that time, you also had PK Supan. He was at the top of his career, right? He was, he was unstoppable almost when they had him. Yeah, I, I, I see it differently. I mean, I think if we, we did this on hockey night on Saturday, Kerry Price's last November was similar to this November. It was a disaster. Then he righted himself and he was exceptional the rest of the way. And the Habs missed the playoffs by two points. Uh, if anything, to me, I look at their special teams. Last year it was the power play. This year it's the PK that's just near the bottom of the league. It's very hard to operate when, you know, every time the other team has a man advantage, the puck's ending up in the back of your net. So I, I think that's part of the equation. Uh, Carey Price had a horrible month, uh, granted that, but I, I'm not ready to sort of throw in the towel on who he is and what he's, what he's been. I expect him to rebound. I, I agree. Might not be in his prime, but he's 33 years old. He's not 38 years old. So mm -hmm. I, I fully expect Carey Price to have a rebound. I think really it's going to be incumbent on the team to be able to get some more scoring. I think that's a big part of the equation. That's a big part of the problem. And until that's been addressed, it's, it's going to be trouble, I think, for the team because they just don't have a, a, a deep roster of bona fide guys who you can trust to score.